channel tray is a U-shaped metal tray that is used to carry electrical and data cable or instrument tubing in an industrial plant. SnapTrack channel tray is a unique brand of cable tray that is assembled using push pins, which are installed faster than traditional hardware such as nuts and bolts. The SnapTrack parts that make up the total system include the channel tray in 20-foot lengths, splices, also called fittings, that connect the channel pieces to each other, and various other parts and accessories that complete the system. Snap track channel consists of three widths of tray, two inches, four inches, and six inches. Snap track splices connect the channel together. Splices come in the same widths as the channel, two, four, and six inches. All snap track splices come with the necessary push pins for installation. Some of the splices are straight and others have bends and curves that allow snap track to run in many directions to get to where it needs to go in the facility. In addition to straight splices, snap track has elbows, T's, and crosses. Snap track also comes with a number of specialty splices such as adjustable splices, reducing and plane change adapters, and other fittings that reduce field fabrication. Your project may or may not have some of these splices on location. In this drawing, SnapTrack is highlighted in yellow and shows the transition from larger with ladder style trays to point of use such as analyzers and transmitters. Do not ever use SnapTrack as a walkway, ladder, or support for people. Before installing SnapTrack channel, supports must be installed. When installing SnapTrack, lengths shorter than 20 feet are sometimes needed, so the channel requires cutting. To cut SnapTrack channel, ensure correct width of the tray is selected. Understand the route and get a proper measurement on the length to cut the tray. To determine the length needed, measure from the beginning of the run to the edge of the splice needed, then add 5 inches. The 5 inches will allow the channel to be inserted into the splice. Lay the channel leg side down, measure the length you need. Use a square and a sharpie to mark a 90 degree straight line on the channel, avoiding the holes in the channel. Make the cut using a chop saw or bandsaw. The use of a lubricant will speed the process and preserve the cutting blade. When cutting, start with the front corner of the channel, then slowly saw across to the other corner, then down to complete the cut. Once the cut has been made, use a file or emery cloth to brush away the sharp edges and burrs. Once you have the length of channel that you need, it is time to install. First, snap track must be installed onto a support. To install snap track channel into a horizontal support, you will need strut support, two spring nuts, washers and bolts, two hold down clamps. With snap track perpendicular to the support, place a hold down clamp over the side of the channel where it lines up with the support in order to determine where the spring nut should be. Remove the hold down clamp to add the spring nut. Add the spring nut to that area in the support, twisting it once in place to stabilize it in the strut. Then place the hold down clamp over the spring nut. Repeat the process on the other side of the channel. Once the spring nuts and hold down clamps are in place, add a washer and bolt to each side, going through the hole in the hold down clamp and into the spring nut beneath it. Tighten the bolts for a secure hold. Once the channel has been installed, you will add a splice or fitting to continue the route. Push pins are included in all splices. To install the splice, you must first remove the push pins. Guide the splice or fitting onto the channel that has been installed. The channel should be inserted a minimum of 5 inches into the splice, with the legs of the channel going into the inward C-shape of the splice. Line up any two of the 9 16th inch smaller holes in the channel and splice. Be sure not to use the larger holes, as they will not properly fasten. Insert two push pins into the two holes that have been lined up with the channel. Make sure the pins click all the way for a secure connection. Insert another piece of channel into the other end of the splice. Do not butt the two ends of the channel together in the splice. Leaving some room in between will allow for adjustability later if needed. Once the channel is in place, repeat push pin assembly. Most snap track splices or fittings assemble the same way with push pins. Next, we will show how to install a vertical inside elbow and how to install snap track on a vertical support. 
To install a vertical inside elbow splice, begin by removing the push pins. Push the splice over the channel, making sure the channel slides into the inward C design on the splice. Push the channel four to five inches inside the splice. Line up the smaller 9 16th inch holes and add the push pins to secure the splice to the channel. To continue the vertical run, remove the push pins on the opposite end of the splice, then add the channel and push pins as described earlier in this video. To install in a vertical support, you will need strut support, two hold down clamps, two spring nuts with bolts and washers, and an additional spring nut with bolt and washer for the center bolt. First, you must line up the channel onto the strut support and add a spring nut underneath where the channel will be attached. Put the channel against the strut, lining up one of the 9 16th inch holes with a spring nut underneath. Add the washer and bolt and hand tighten. Then add a spring nut on each side of the channel as done with the horizontal supports. Add a hold down clamp on each side of the channel and secure with washers and bolt. Tighten all bolts for a secure hold. For the channel tray system to be properly grounded, it's important to add bonding jumpers in four different scenarios. At the beginning and end of tray runs, such as transitioning from ladder tray to channel tray, when using adjustable fittings, when using expansion splices, and for discontinuous runs. This example will show how to add a bonding jumper on a discontinuous run or in a place where the channel is not connected with a splice. When a discontinuous run is absolutely necessary, a bonding jumper must be installed. Utilize one quarter inch carriage bolts and a flange nut to properly install bonding jumpers. From the top of the channel, insert a washer and bolt into one of the slotted holes. Add one end of the bonding jumper from the bottom side of the channel onto the bottom side of the bolt. Use the flange nut to secure. Repeat on the end of the other channel to connect the two pieces of channel with the bonding jumper properly grounding the system. We hope this video helps you understand how to install SnapTrack channel tray. If you have questions, please see your supervisor, visit the TechLine Manufacturing website, or get in touch with your TechLine representative.